like it's an accident that you're here this night. <laughs> South Carolina. Hey, everybody, we're back with Billy Joel. Um, you know, there have been a lot of supergroups over the years. Um, have you ever thought of putting together, like, Billy Joel and Friends, like, your supergroup? Yeah. And taking that around, who would be in Billy Joel's supergroup? I've kicked this around with a couple of people. I talked about uh, having Don Henley. Sure. Sting. Uh, John Mayer. You know, getting, a, getting a, like, a band together just to explode and then break up, you know? <laughs> sure, sure, just fight. Fight with each other. Make a film out of that. Yeah, you know, but play together till we hate each other's guts and then split. Now, one of uh, the things that this year marks in November will mark 50 years since your song Piano Man was released. You know, it's an iconic song from the Library of Congress. When you wrote that, you were this young man writing the song, did you know this was going to be a hit? Did you feel like this is the one? No, I didn't have a clue. It's in Walt's time. It's, uh, it was kind of a long song. They had to actually edit it. Um, and the, the lyrics are like limericks, really. Uh, it, it's a repetitive melody. <laughs> right, you can fit Nantucket in there. <laughs> there once was a girl from Nantucket. <laughs> he fell asleep and handed a bucket. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but it's better than drinking for free. Exactly. John at the bar is a friend of mine. He gets him his drinks for free. He's quick with the joke out of light of his smoke and the sound believer to be. And the melody is repetitive. It starts. Next. And then it jumps an octave. I mean, you thank God for the la 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 da dee da. Because that kind of breaks it up. Sure. Have you listened to Tangled Up in Blue, though? It <laughs> never ends, and it's a great song. So I love I, that song. Oh, so do I, too. But I think even Dylan just repeats himself. I'm saying you're better than Dylan, is what I'm saying. <laughs> OK. So, unless... No. Unless... Unless he is willing to come on my show. <laughs> well, uh, so, but it is it's an enormous hit. Was it a hit right away? No. It was, back in the day, disc jockeys could spin whatever they want on the radio. There were no consultants. Uh, you know, they could, it was free form. Yeah. And they played, if people called in, I want to hear that song, they'd play it. And if the disc jockey liked it, they'd play it. So it was what they call a turntable hit. It didn't really sell through. It just got played a lot on the radio. So the perception was that it was a hit record, but it really wasn't. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So, Maybe your career will take off someday, Billy Joel. <laughs> well, from, from here, we can go places. All right. If you need a fifth person for your supergroup, I'm always there. I know all the lyrics. Okay. Billy, lovely to have you again. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Turn the lights back on. Right there. Is out now. The 100th show of Billy's residency at Madison Square Garden is airing as a CBS special on April 14th. Mr. Billy Joel, everybody. We'll be right back in the performance by Chapel Rome.